Summerfest memories made every year. A lot of folks have been going again and again for decades. Of course, Tom Durian is there live. He talked to people who have spent time on both sides of the stage. Tom. <laughs> Yeah, Stephen Carroll tonight, all the headlining acts are on all the main stages throughout the area. And of course, Summerfest is about the music, especially for this one guy who had never been here until he played the big gig. We're very, very lucky here in southeastern Wisconsin, especially as musicians and music lovers, of course. Local musician Ryan McIntyre was born in Waukesha, but had never been to Summerfest until he played his first show here in 1999. Just today, before the gig started, beautiful day. I was kind of pinching myself saying, here we are again, this is just amazing. His family and friends are among the tens of thousands of visitors to the big gig. Just yesterday, I had somebody request a song that I wrote when I was 15 years old. He remembered the song. Thanks, you guys. Judy Tyler had her memories jump started started by finding an old picture on the today's TMJ4.com flashback Friday post. It's from 1981 when she was just 19 years old and she's been back to Summerfest every year since. We were just hanging out and someone came up and asked to take our photo. So with the heat coming this weekend, we asked Summerfest what they plan to do. They really weren't prepared to answer that question yet, but we know in the past they have set up misting stations throughout the grounds and they've also allowed people to bring in bottled water when it is very, very warm outside. Reporting live at Summerfest, Tom Durian, today's TMJ4. Yeah, both would be welcome this weekend. Thank you, Tom.